Hi guys and welcome to Angling for You and today you join me at a wonderful fishing tackle on bay in Doncaster and I've got a fantastic one for you today. Now looking at what we've got here it's something that you don't see very often on the videos is a comparison between three of the, let's say the leading trollers that are out there. We've got the Preston Shuttle, the old Faithful, the newer version of the old Faithful, the Matrix Transporter and the Fold and Go Match Barrow from the new one from Daiwa. Now you might have seen already my individual video of this Match Barrow and what I thought of it. But I just want to put them next to each other and see what your, what my thoughts are towards them as a free. Um, and there's some quite clear advantages and disadvantages and I just think it'd be a really good video if you're looking into buying yourself a trolley. Uh, so, we're going to start on this side. Uh, we're not, it's not going to be a super long video, it's going to be very obvious to what the changes and the, and, and the positive and negatives are. Uh, and we're going to go straight into it. So, starting with the Preston Station. It's an old school favourite. Um, there's a lot of people that really like um, the Preston and you can see why the platform is a stable platform and um, it's easy to extend things they've got the, the additional arms they extend they've got the big bag at the back they've got the the protective rest at the top and uh, they've got the really durable handles and the really really durable wheels as well um, it can extend further that way slightly as well um, and it's a solid platform it's it's renowned for being sort of the barrow of choice uh, with with many many things that we do um, around these these sort of barrows but it's also got some negatives now looking at the other end um, yes you can extend it but it, it's not got a lot as much width as as potentially the Daiwa um, there's not much padding or anything around there so you know that that can be a little bit of a negative um, a really good positive is that it's got this big bag at the back um, which can store some extra stuff which I do really like on both of these I think that's a really good uh, character to have although um, it doesn't seem uh, as high as some of the others um, so if you are ground clearance wise and it's got quite a short wheelbase uh, if you're going down maybe a quite muddy place and you want a bit more traction a bit more distribution of weight this one's not that wide um, and it's also like I said it's also a little bit this end heavy once you've got things in this pouch but that said it's built strong and um, it's put together strong it's it's a renowned um, setup and platform that people have used for a long long time now onto the most negatives and now I've got to hold it as a negative after the Daiwa is that you have to take it to pieces you have to take it to pieces you have to store it um, and you have to get it out and you have to build it regardless um, of what you're doing and um, this one's about 229 again um, fish and tackle and bait will do you a deal and um, when you come through um, so you're probably getting it around 200 quid or thereabouts so let's just move that bad boy to the side now we move on to the matrix now I've had the matrix and I didn't have it for long I'll be honest um, I'm not a big trolley person I like to park upside of my peg um, for me that's just the benefit of it uh, but there's some positives and there's some negatives now I've seen a little thing around joint wear and welds um, online where there's a few ones that have given go but you never know truly what's what situation that's been in to cause that if it's been dropped if it's gone through some crazy off-road stuff I don't know but and it depends how long it's been used but they have got some positives the back is a slightly wider base with a wheelbase so if you go in into places where it's a bit a bit more rough and ready and um, you can even distribute your stuff around a little bit better it does come with a bag as well but it all collapses into in a bag uh, and again you can unscrew these little canard bits and, and push them in in or out but they don't they don't go too far I mean that's probably your max extension on them to be honest um, whether you could take them off and fettle them and, and, and extend it in your own leisure but then again if you want to plug and play you don't really want to be doing that 
It's got the bungee straps uh, holders, which um, on the Preston ones, um, it doesn't look like it's actually got any hooks for the bungee straps to go. And I think it's just meant to go around the bars, maybe. Um, you, you guys in the comments might prove me wrong, but there's four bungee straps there um, at the front and two at the back, uh, which does give you a good area to, to strap it on. Now the handles are, are beastly strong handles, um, but one of them, before we go into the back part, the, one of the major things that I didn't like about the Matrix is, yes, you could, there is a way of fixing it, so I'll tell you that after, but look at the wobble. It drove me mad, and especially under load, there's so much play in the wheels, um, and I think a couple of washers I put in, and it, and it tightened the wheels up a little bit more, um, but it did do me head in that a little bit, um, even though I only use it minimally. Um, but one to think of and this is is probably one of its it, its positive most positive things this is around 200 quid like i say fishing tackle and bait will do you a deal probably get it around that 180 kind of pound mark or thereabouts it's got a massive uh, bag that fits on the edge um, it's it's made out of sort of the same material as your rod bags but the bottom's a neoprene uh, netting part uh, where you can see where if you're putting stuff in it it'll drip and go through it um, you know and it, it give you a little bit of extra additional space to to store foot stuff on a on a long journey <laughs> it, it is a good platform um, again it's quite low it's even lower and the pre oh, it's about the same size it did look lower it's about the same size as the Preston um, so you know it it's give or take um, with these two which you'd, you prefer both need building but we move on to this now if you have seen my review on it you already know I love this it's brilliant now it is 300 stacks so it is 100 quid more but I tell you now I'm going to do what I did on the other one and I'm going to show you why just for that extra hundred quid but like I say if you go under you're able the fishing tackle bait sort you out but just on this one thing alone it makes it worth that extra money so like I said it's called a fold and go pull the little thing there one two there and one here pull out and twist lift that wheel collapses lift that wheel collapses get to your back lift, lift up the uh, the black bits boom it's into your it's into your car now that for me is worth just the extra money on its own and um, before we talk about the other bits so you want to put it back together little rattle like that and it's it's back up the wheels pop straight back up twist that one twist that one twist that one click that one done you're back to full strength now for me that's where my money's going and i'm telling you now when i'm on and when you want to do that and start fiddling screwing stuff on i ain't want to do that that is what i want to do that strap on the front here is a neoprene strap it comes off and when you're together you can stick it together so you don't slip up and nail your back bumper on top of all that it's got a bait bucket starer I'm telling you, I don't work for Daiwa, but this is where my money's going. It, it, it's got the extra cushions, it's got your additional star, uh, storage there for um, your rod bag to lift it above. You can lift it miles higher than you can on any of the other ones um, and have it because your bags or your box is going to be here, so it could sit level with that. You've got your bungee strap points as well. The wheels are a polymer, um, super strong, durable. There's no rattle to it. When, when, when it's under load, it's going to be great. The handles are strong. You can, if you're short like me, you can lower them down. You can pull them up. I know it's 300 quid, but like I said, fish tackle bait sort you out for under two, for under 300. That is where out of this three, my money's going, boys. And not to mention that it's a good three to four inches taller, even with the bucket on it's nearly got the same clearance as the wheels on the others and that to me is important you're going through there's rocks especially if you're maybe a, a an angler that's going to go down to a reservoir or you're going to go down to a natural venue where you've got a longer trek from the car and you've got different sort of scenarios to go through that gives you all that you've got the extending arms with a padding so it keeps your stuff nice and secure and safe and also it's got that wide frame which is as wide if not wider uh, than the matrix frame um, the negative and there is only one for me when you see these is if you put another bar on 
or you put a bag on here it would be the absolute pinnacle whether you could buy one of them separately and nail them on probably could but if you got an extra bag on there Daiwa on here or whatever or you sorted this out so that the screws were higher up and you, you'd out, you could fit a bag on it it'd be unbeatable well it's unbeatable now I mean a crossbar and a crossbar across there and a bag no one else would buy another trolley they'd only buy that so that's my opinions. I know it looks uh, fairly one-sided towards the Daiwa, but um, I'm honest and, and open. Would I have either of them two? So, uh, you know, if I, if that were my budget, yeah, I would, yeah. W which one would I choose out of those two if, if I had that budget? Preston, all day long. The, I've, like I say, I've had the Matrix, and it does everything the Preston does, and some areas it does it better, but it's that stability that I feel is better on the Preston. Um, so that would be my number two and sadly the Matrix would be number three but if you've got one you probably get on with it and I wouldn't be sad about having it um, but when it comes to these three number one number two number three all day long so uh, if you want to join us on the Facebook group at Angley for you and become a member of the 10,000 strong crew uh, ask questions and sort of see what's going on then uh, join us on there if you want to go on instagram angling underscore for you and uh, just look at some photos and see what we're getting up to there then uh, join us on there and if you want to see any other videos go on the youtube on the playlist or on angling for you back to basics if you've just started and uh, if you could like share and subscribe and become an angling for you part of the family then that'd be superb and until the next one guys thank you very much for watching tight lines <laughs>